Hello everyone, this video explains how to connect Google Sheets on Toolgen. We will also learn about different operations that support while using Google Sheets as the data source of our app. We will quickly create a simple application to understand the steps involved in the integration. You can access the Google Sheets in the video's description to start or simply create your own. So let's begin with the following steps. First, drag and drop the table widget from the widget's inventory. We will use the initial setup and add another column called country. Make sure you use small cases to define columns. In the next step, we will open our Google Sheet called demo app, which is already pre-filled with the following data. You can replicate this or create your own data sheet. We will define column names such as ID, full name, email, and country in small cases. This data will be displayed when the app initially loads and runs the query to read data from the spreadsheet. Now we need to connect our data source. On the left-hand side, click on the Sources tab. We will click on the plus icon to add a data source. Search and select Google Sheets. Since we have to perform the CRUD operations, so we'll select the Read and Write option. Now click on Connect to Google Sheets. You need to log in to choose an account and give additional access required. Click on Continue. The auth is successfully done. Now close the tab and get back to our app and click Save Data Source. The data source is added successfully. Let's create our first query, which is Read Data from Spreadsheet. Expand the Query panel at the bottom. Click on Create Query or the plus icon to add a new query and select Google Sheets. We need the Spreadsheet ID to connect the query. We can access the ID from the URL of our Google Spreadsheet we created earlier. Select and copy-paste the ID in the input field. Range. This is optional. You can specify the range of cells in this field. If no value is provided it will select the default range. Sheet. This is again an optional field. You can specify the sheet name here if it has more than one sheet, else it will automatically choose the first one. Transformations. You can add custom code here to modify, but we won't be doing it for now. You can click on the preview option to view the data from the sheet. We can rename the query with the operation it is performing for a better understanding. Here it can be read data. Now click on the create option to save this query. We need to inspect our table widget and update a few input fields. First, we will update the name under the columns with full name. Under table data, we will update it with query.readdata.data inside the double curly braces. Once this is done, we will again expand our query editor. Click on the play button right next to our query name to run it. The table is populated with the data fetched from our sheet. Now let's create our second query which is append data to a spreadsheet. Using this operation we can add more rows to the table at a time. Go to the query panel, follow the steps from the previous operation to create a new query and choose the append operation and enter the spreadsheet ID. We won't be editing the input field under the sheet which is an optional field. For rows, we'll enter the row data in the JSON array form. Each object in an array will represent a single row. The key represents the column name and the value represents the cell data. We can rename the query as append data and click on create to save the query. Once done we will first click on the play button next to append data and then next to the read data to fetch newly appended data from the sheet. You can also examine your spreadsheet to view the updated data in it. The third operation is Get Spreadsheet Info. All we need is the spreadsheet ID to create this query. We can rename the query as Get Info and click on the Preview button to access the basic information about our spreadsheet such as the sheet name, theme, time zone, format, URL, and more. Lastly, we can click on Create to save the query. Let's create our fourth query which is update data to a spreadsheet. Using this operation we can update the existing row data in our sheet. 
We need the following information to perform this operation. First, we will enter the spreadsheet ID. We won't be entering a value for range and sheet name for this operation. Let's quickly update the country data for row 3, under where input field let's enter ID, then select the operator, and lastly enter the value for the row which we want to update. Let's enter 3, this will update the country value for row 3. Now in the body field, we'll enter the data we want to update for the row. Let's expand the body panel and enter the new data object inside double curly braces and round brackets. Once done save the query and press the play button to run the operation. When the query is successfully run, we have to trigger the read data query to update the sheet. Our Google Sheet will contain the updated row as well. Lastly, we'll create our final query which is delete row from a spreadsheet. Using this operation we can delete the existing row data in our sheet. We need to provide value to the following fields i.e. spreadsheet ID, git which we can find at the end of our sheet's URL, in our case, it is zero, and finally, the row number which we want to delete. We'll enter four in order to delete the third row in the sheet, which is the row ID we want to delete plus one. Once done rename the query to delete data and click on create to save the query. We'll click on the play button next to our query name to run this operation. When our operation is successfully run, we need to trigger the read data query to update the sheet. The value in our Google Sheets is also updated. This is the end of this video. I hope you found it informative. Thank you for watching.